Greetings from the Canada Green Building Council. For many other nonprofits, 2020 has been very challenging for CHEBC. And I and we actually want to take the opportunity to thank our members, our sponsors, our stakeholders, and also our volunteers who have worked very hard for us this year to work to advance our strategic priorities in the green building market. Despite these challenges, we were able to advance some very important initiatives. Of course, we were all invigorated by the announcement of the federal government uh, to advance climate change. It started with $2 billion for the Canadian Infrastructure Bank to advance building retrofit. This was followed just a couple of weeks ago by the federal government announcing that it will lead with its own buildings and will build its building to zero carbon. And just last week, the Prime Minister announced uh, significant investments in the, in the low carbon economy and to reduce carbon emissions from the built environment. The federal government's announcements align very well with our call for green recovery. And also with our recent report, Canada's Green Building Engine, which shows that through government investment by 2030, we'll create 1.5 million jobs, we eliminate 53 million tons of carbon, and we grow the economy by 150 billion in terms of GDP. But it also aligns well with our key pillars here at CGBC, which is green building, zero carbon buildings, large building retrofit, and the workforce transition. We did a lot of work with our volunteer committees, and I want to thank them for all their hard work around supporting building owners around O&M certification and reoccupancy of office buildings. The committees also worked on the Elite 4.1 addendum, which is going to be issued soon. We released our second version in March, just before COVID broke. Last year, we ended on uh, 10 certifications. This year, we're going to end on 25 certifications. We released a number of reports, one for architects, engineers, and renewable energy specialists, and a second one around the skills gap in Alberta. But what came out of that, which was a really a big initiative on the first in Canada, is the Workforce 2030 in Ontario. It's a coalition of uh, the building industry, companies, unions, um, policy makers, as well as educational institutions to figure out what needs to be done to train the workforce of the future in a low carbon economy in Ontario. The other big part that we're working on and that you already all know about is large building retrofit. We are very excited about the sector because it has now become top of mind for many policymakers across the country, including the Canadian Infrastructure Bank, which recently announced it will invest $2 billion into financing a large building retrofit, particularly in the commercial sector, while also trying to uh, attract private sector capital. This is hugely important to turn the market around and we identified financing as one of the big gaps in that sector. The other big gap was around performance and standardizing retrofit. And we're happy to announce that we awarded the first two certification under our Investor Confidence project. As you can see, we've been very busy here at CEGBC. And I wanted to thank you again for your support in making this all happen. Now that we get into the holiday season, we would like to wish you all a happy holiday and a great new year. And we look forward to working with you to advance this very important agenda in Canada. And we now know that uh, all eyes are on climate change, both from the federal government and from industry. And there are many more good things to come. Have a wonderful holiday. Thank you.